flowers. That's flowers that they gave me originally looked like I was going to propose marriage to you. We had to trim them down. Oh, wow, yeah. they were better than this? You, they this were, is... they look like Miss America flowers, you Well, know? I hope Michael Vartan brings me a vase. Um, <laughs> Props. I could just, uh, I'm going to sit, I'm sure they'll be okay for a little while. I think they'll be fine. Thank you, that's beautiful. Thank you very well, much. you're welcome. They're, they're gorgeous. Happy new show. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. You're on a show called Will and Grace. What's that about? <laughs> It's about four happy-go-lucky, you know, nutty kooks. You're, you're so, all of you, but you are so brilliant on the show, and it's, I think it's surprising if you haven't heard Megan talk before. Did not hear that voice, honey. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I do a good impression of you. I never hear a good one, and yeah. that was pretty good. Well, honey, you, um, you, you do, a, well, because you tell funny stories about the, you only come up with that voice, really, when, uh, when a rug is too expensive, really. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm imitating my mom, it comes out. I don't know what that means. Yeah. No, I have people come up to me a lot that say, oh, people at work tell me I'm just like your character on the show, and I'm like, that's probably not a plus. <laughs> you may not want to spread that around. Yeah, they're proud of that? Yeah, they're proud and yeah. happy. That doesn't seem like a badge of honor to me. No, but it's a fun thing to play for yeah. you. I don't know how you don't crack up all the time. We do laugh a lot. We, we, we have to stop a lot during... God, I sure would like a cigarette right now. I was... Well, great. <laughs> that you have it right there. And it tastes so much better when it comes out that way. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's classy all the way around. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> that, that'll be a nice clip to show that you're on the show, that you do that. Yeah, they can use that for NBC. Yeah. Now, no, you, you don't do that, because you're a healthy gal, aren't you? Yeah. I... You look great, by the way. You look Thank really, you. really good. Oh. You do. That's nice. Well, I, um, you know, I went on that Adkins diet. Well, it's not really, I didn't read the book or anything. I just started eating only protein, like, for the whole summer. <laughs> but literally, like, I didn't know anything except not to eat any carbohydrates. So I literally ate sausage and cheese for the entire summer. And, lost, <laughs> and I lost, like, 10 pounds. I mean, it's weird. O on the sausage and cheese sausage diet? Sausage and cheese. And then at one point, I went to a certain grocery store, and I found sausage that had actually been stuffed with cheese. Oh. <laughs> So I thought, wow, I mean, it's like all in one. It was perfect. It was disgusting, but it well, was a good idea. Of course it was. Yes. Did, did, you, did you really think that would be tasty? I, I didn't. Sausage I was stuff. hoping against hope. You can't, for, you, can't you know, blame That is me the most that. unhealthy diet I have ever heard of in I my know, life. Except I feel really good, and I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, well, you, you look great. Well, but, thanks. Well, you you're look not, good, too. Thank you. It's, it's the uh, Cheetos diet. <laughs> I think, you know, if you only eat one thing, you're going to lose weight. That's the thing. There's all these diets of, like, I the know. soup diet or the grapefruit diet. If you ever just want to lose weight, just eat, like, almond bars or something like that, know. you know? And I don't usually think about that because I don't need to be real skinny or anything. But I got sick of, I was getting a little too portly, and I got tired of trying to find clothes that weren't just driving me crazy. You were getting portly? Mm. <laughs> There's a little Fred Flintstone factor that creeps in. Really? Yeah, I that's that. this That's this town. I really, I am going to, that's one thing, I, another thing, I'm, I'm going to bring glamour back to daytime television, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get rid of this weight-obsessed society that we have. It's true. It is. I, I, think that's, I think that's so great, because I'm considered, like, a huge heifer for an actress. No, I am. And I'm a size, I've never been bigger than a size 8, and that's not big. And I'm considered, like, a huge fatty. Yeah. So that's that's our that's our that's, that's our you know, society. I mean, I've called you fatty many times. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. No, I feel the same way. It's like it's it, this this town is obsessed with being rail thin, yeah. and, and I I refuse to go along with it. I'll eat what I want. Damn it! Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn it. Stay <laughs> We're gonna. Um, we're going to uh, take a, a question from Art, if he has one, and then we're going to go to commercial and come back. But have you thought of a, 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 yeah, a, a question? Yeah, I've got a question. Yeah. Oh, good. Hi, Megan. Hi, Art. We were all wondering, do you have a pet peeve? Ooh, ouch. Um, I don't know that I do. Could you ask me another question? Okay. I can't remember. Okay, it's well, not well, as was... easy as it looks, is uh, it, Art? Yeah. Are, are you attracted to men in red capes? <laughs> That's why 
I couldn't think of my pet peeve because I'm so distracted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, the truth comes out. Good answer. Is this the missus? No, it's no, not. No, it's not. I thought it was, Excellent. too. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. We're back with Megan Mullally. And uh, Mullally, Mullally, Mullady, what is Mullally it? Mullally rhymes with Sally. Mullally rhymes with Sally. That's how I remember it. But mm -hmm. do people call you Mullally? I couldn't pronounce my own name until I was, like, 11. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I don't really care how people yeah. say it. I know, I'm surprised people learn mine too. I didn't. Yeah, we, we, we're two crazy. rebels. Um, <laughs> so, so you're. Uh, do you use your name on this? I don't understand eBay. I know what eBay is, but you're an eBay. Do you use your name on eBay we when you do that? We just got a computer, and I. The first like day we had it, my fiance was on the computer for like ten minutes, and I walked in. and I was like, "Are you going to turn into one of those weird computer nerds?" And he's like, "No." Now I'm on it like a hundred hours a day. I mean, I'm obsessed with it. And I found eBay, and I first started collecting because we want to have kids, and so I started collecting like you know first editions of great literature. And now I've somehow like wound my way down, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this on national television to comic books. I am like a nerdy comic book collector. It is unbelievable. But I have to tell you the funniest part. You get on eBay and you, when you buy something, then when you receive it, you're supposed to leave feedback for the seller to say whether they are good or not. And then what I didn't know is they leave feedback for you. And when I first saw my feedback, like I thought I was doing fairly well in my television career. Apparently, Nothing compared to my eBay, you know, buying yeah. prowess because I got a little misty. I mean, these are so superlative. I don't even know what this means. That so the person you buy from gives you a review. Yeah. Uh, great buyer in all ways. Hope to meet again. Many thanks. <laughs> Do you meet these people? No. The finest eBay has to offer A plus <laughs> plus. One of the nice, one of the nicest eBayers you'll trade with. Thank you. A A A A A A A A plus 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 plus. <laughs> Isn't it insanity? I was so. They're thrilled. eloquent, these people. I know, I know. Well, that's that's. But uh, no, have you ever gotten a review like that? I mean, that's just really that's no. top drawer. It is. I I'm gonna start uh, buying yeah, stuff just good. for these reviews. I said, my God, you know, I am somebody. Yeah. Right. You know. It it just takes buying comic books to find that out. <laughs>